Hey, what's up guys? Just gonna be doing a quick clip here today. I filmed a video many years ago, similar to this. It's been a while, a lot of you probably haven't seen it. And I wanted to cover this again, just because I had a comment in the comment section asking how someone can tell if it's a coax or a telephone wire or a power line that's down. So, just the office of the dumpster here now. Truck is full of junk. And I just cut this off the pole. I came over to the office to get some more supplies, which we'll get into in a minute. But there was a really bad vehicle accident. This is a coax cable here. And you can see the cable, the jacket on the cable is completely melted. There was actually 7,200 volts that went right through the steel. Well, the steel's completely disintegrated except for that piece. There was steel inside here. And then as we see the steel carrier, the coax is in the big part. You can see the steel is completely disintegrated in multiple points as that 7,200 volts traveled through this entire cable from a pole that was across the street. So there was a vehicle accident while I was out of town. I'm pretty sure I've got some pictures. You can even see the telephone wires bubbled up there from the 7,200 volts. But I was out of town, my phone was absolutely blowing up from emergency services, fire department, some of the locals. The street was completely blocked off. But I do gotta grab some supplies. Oh, here's, this is a photo eye that was on the street light. 7200 volts even went through that photo eye and completely fried the street light. But we're gonna get some material and we're gonna head back there and I'll show you guys some footage of the actual pole and not what exactly happened, but We'll show you where the 7200 volts went through and destroyed everything on the pole. All right guys, so we're at the location of the accident now. It's actually the following day. I didn't have time to come back yesterday, but we'll show you guys what we got here. So this is the pole that was hit by the vehicle. You can see there is a slight corner as that three phase crosses over to this side of the road. So when that pole snapped, it came towards us in this direction. That three phase, would have landed on either that duplex, the 120 volt duplex or that overhead guy, sending 7200 volts right up over onto this pole. So the line did trip out, but it is a main line, so it is on a recloser. It would have reclosed a couple times. And as that 7200 went to ground, this is our ground wire on the pole, you can see quite an arc flash where completely burn off that number four copper. As we travel up the pole, the telephone wires were all on the ground. I came here yesterday because everything was still on the ground for some reason. You can see it a couple, actually you can see it right along that ground wire and it's scorching the pole. We have a multi-grounded system so everything is bonded together. All the telephone, the street light bracket, absolutely everything. It uh, burnt through that lashing wire, so it let go. A few burn marks on the telephone, but it didn't seem like it damaged her main line. I have had a few calls in the past where the, the actual jacket on the telephone was on fire as we arrived. Thankfully, that wasn't the case here. So as we move up the pole, A long street light bracket. That photo eye I showed you yesterday came out of that guy there. But when we open the street light bracket, you can see there's quite a few burn marks in there as well. So we're going to be changing that head. In fact, I'll likely have to change the wire going right through that pipe good chance that it's damaged as well. Moving on over to this next street light again. Blew that photo eye completely apart. There's supposed to be a cap on it that looks just like that. The inside all black. I imagine if I open that up it's gonna be similar. And again the wires all burn up quite badly. I guess basically what I'm trying to say is 
when there's lines down, regardless if it's an overhead guy wire, if it's a coax, if it's a telephone wire, when lines are down, absolutely anything could be energized at any point. So it's best just to stay away, call 911, call the power company, don't touch anything. Just gonna take a quick peek at this light now that we're on the ground and yeah, there was a whole lot of fire flying out of this guy. There's that live wire that completely melted. You can actually even see the melted copper at the base of the light. So this guy will be fit for the dumpster. Just before we go, as I went to remove the hot connector, I noticed something else pretty wild. So this, this is our 120 volt wire. You can see there's a piercing connector which energizes that street light wire. And we can see right inside the sheathing of the wire if my camera will focus. Come on now. The wire inside that jacket is gone. It's just gone. That 14 gauge wire, that's 7200 volts, completely disintegrated the wire. So I will have to run all new wire for these lights as well. Alright, I gotta get to work and start changing all this stuff out guys. So, we'll see you all very soon.